So without further ado, um, the teams that we've selected to invite for the 2016 Slam Dunk to the Beach event. Um, this list goes in alphabetical order. Uh, and we'll begin with uh, a team that represented last year uh, and the Aquinnick Jaguars, uh, who were coached by Stephen Wright, uh, who played in what we considered a legendary four overtime game last year. Uh, finished the season with a 13-8 record, reaching the second round of the state tournament. Um, Coach Wright will be in the team next year for Slam Dunk to the Beach, along with uh, Miles Kale, who's considered not only one of the top ranked players in the state, but also in the country as well. So, after one. So, going to Slam Dunk. And we obviously couldn't have Slam Dunk to the Beach without our, own, our, our host uh, school, Cape Edmonton High School. Uh, coached by uh, Steve Ray, uh, finished the season 12 and 12 and 9 record, uh, ranked 13th in the state tournament. Um, and what a bright young team that we'll be looking at for the next two years. Uh, both uh, Ian Robertson and Randy Rickards, considered two of the top uh, sophomores in the state, and actually getting recognized right now. So, where's my man Ian? Say, buddy. <laughs> uh, so we're looking forward to having Kate Pendle in high school. Third school selected, your 2016 state champions, Sanford Warriors, coached by Stan Waterman. The uh, four state championships in the last seven years, uh, and as Dr. Robinson mentioned, uh, they took what was considered one of the top three teams in the country, uh, La Lumiere out of Indiana, uh, to an overtime game. And I don't think La Lumiere was expecting that at all, so congratulations. Uh, we'll look Here, actually, in, the, in our short history of Slam Dunk to the Beach since its resurrection, um, the leading scorer in the overall tournament, uh, homegrown talent Mikey Dixon from Sanford School, who has the record 39 points in the tournament. So, again, great job. And last but not least, a new school which hasn't represented the tournament uh, since its resurrection. The Smyrna Eagles. Just kind of saw that coming. Good job. Congratulations, Tony. Uh, 2015 football state champions, but uh, finished an 18 and 4 record in 2000 in this past season, advancing to the state quarterfinals as one of the top ranked teams in the state. Uh, another young team that we're really looking forward to welcoming next year. Uh, a couple future players, Caleb Matthews and Jameer Garnett, ranked as two of the top young players in the state of Delaware. So we're really looking forward to having. Them. 